Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Ben, and I uh, have a very special video for you. This is the first video in what might just become a viral series of videos uh, called Baking with Orson. And as you can see, or maybe not yet, but as you can see, I have a baby named Orson. Orson. Anyways, he's in there, trust me. He's strapped on in. I'll... Uh, get a chance to show, show them to you a little bit later, but we are going to do some baking in this video, and let me tell you, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's his first baking experience, and uh, I'm excited because let me go ahead and show you the book that we're going to be baking with. The baking book that we have is the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, and you can see the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook right here. This is a New York Times bestseller. From cauldron cakes to knickerbocker glory, more than 150 magical recipes for wizards and non-wizards alike by Dina or Dinah Buckholtz. <laughs> Buckholtz, I think is what it is. Hopefully it sounded like I said Buckholtz and not something else. Anyways, this book is unofficial, not authorized. It's not authorized, approved, licensed, or endorsed by J.K. Rowling, her publishers, or Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated. But anyways, we have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. We're going to be doing some different recipes from out of here. And the recipe that we are going to be doing for you all today is from Honey Dukes. See, it says a Honey Dukes treat right there. And this is going to be some dark chocolate truffles. Should be a relatively simple recipe. And it says to represent the chocolates at Honey Dukes, two basic truffle re recipes are provided. For most people, the black truffle, a type of mushroom, is too expensive and rare to eat. It's been a delicacy since Roman times. So toward the end of the 1800s, the chocolate truffle was invented. The classic method for making truffles includes rolling them in cocoa powder so they resemble freshly dug truffles. They look very pretty, but not everyone likes the bitter taste of the cocoa powder, which is why it's an optional ingredient. So we have our ingredients pretty much... All right here, this is some Hershey's cocoa powder, some semi-sweet chocolate chips, which we will melt. And then in the refrigerator, we have our heavy whipping cream, which we will get out. But let me see if I can show you. There's Orson. Orson is sleeping. Buddy. Yeah, so he's gonna be asleep probably for a good portion of this video, but let's go ahead and get this recipe started. Let's go. Whoosh. So first things first, we need to place some chopped chocolate and heavy cream into a microwave safe bowl. And the chopped chocolate is gonna be 12 ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Nestle Toll House chocolate chips. Orson is here with me and we're just gonna go ahead and dump in 12 ounces, which looks like one and a half cups. Let's see, I can't, I can't see a gosh darn thing, if that's even close or not. A little bit more. We need a little bit more chocolate chips, Orson. If you were older, I'd feed you these chocolate chips for helping me out. More like sleeping on the job, but it's cool. It's totally cool, dude. All right, that should be good. Let's just double check. Make sure it's even. One and a half, just about. All right, so there's that. Now we need to go into the refrigerator. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm really whipping around here. I remember, I have a baby attached to me. Into the refrigerator here and we need to get three quarters of a cup. We have Garlic Farms Dairy Pure Heavy Cream. So let us get three quarters of a cup of this fancy dancy heavy cream. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we have to pour this in. We're looking for that three quarters of a cup. This is a little bit easier to see because it's glass. And there we go, three quarters of a cup of the heavy cream. Well done, my son. And now all we do is we take our heavy cream and we are just gonna mix it in with the chocolate chips, just like so. Make sure that gets all in there. That should be wonderful. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy into the microwave for about two minutes and uh, kind of stir it every 30 seconds to make sure it's melted. So let's go ahead and do that. Let us, let's go. All right, Orson. So we're gonna take our little mixture. We are gonna go ahead and put that into the microwave uh, like so. And let's just go ahead and do it for 30 seconds. I know that says three minutes, but 
What do you want from me? What do you want? So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop this at 30 seconds. We'll grab a little spoon and we'll, we'll spoon it up. We'll mix it up and whatever. So I'll make sure we do that. Let me see what's going on with Orson. Here you are, buddy. He's still in there sleeping. Yep, he is just sleeping away. Can you breathe? Yeah, he's breathing. He's breathing. It's good. It's good. All right, we got to go ahead and stop this. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab this out. And this looks like something that a baker would use. A little spatula spanking tool. And uh, let me go ahead and flip you back around here. Just going to go ahead and give this a nice little stir a -rooney. Oh, yeah, it's already starting to melt. Look at that, Orson. He's sleeping through this whole thing. Oh, well, he can watch the video later. All right, we'll mix this up. We'll put it back in the microwave in little 30-second increments, and uh, once it's all melted and mixed, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So we will be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That is the mixture, nice and uh, very, very smooth there. That is Orson approved. You see it's very velvety, very smooth. It's melted. Now, according to the recipe book, this is what we must do next. We must uh, cool the chocolate mixture at room temperature until it stiffens, and then we're going to pinch off uh, some pieces and roll it into little one and a half inch balls, and then we'll put the balls onto the parchment paper here, and uh, after that, we'll make sure that they get stiff. We can pop them in the microwave, and then we can roll them into some melted chocolate that we will use uh, some more of the the Nestle, Nestle uh, semi-sweet chocolate here. And then uh, we can, optional, just roll it in some of this cocoa. And it says that some people may like it and some people may not. So maybe we'll try some with and some without and see what happens. Excuse me, but for now, we have to let this sit. Orson is still sleeping. Orson, anything? Anything to say? Nothing. Are you happy in here? You're not suffocating? I think he's going to be okay. So we will go ahead and uh, let this sit in the room temperature and let it stiffen up. And then we'll come back and uh, continue the recipe. So let us return shortly. Well, as we wait for our treat to be done, it's the time in the show where we have dad jokes for Orson. It's a dad joke! Okay, Orson, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? No idea? Ten tickles. Tentacles. It's ten of them. Son? Ten tickles? No? Not? Okay, all right. All right, back to the recipe. Okay, so this chocolate here has finally set. So what I need to do is I need to actually roll this into little, uh, I think it said one and a half inch balls, put it on the parchment paper, and I need to melt this chocolate here. This is about 10 ounces of chocolate. Melt this, and then we're gonna take these and we're gonna roll them uh, into the melted chocolate here and then set them back on the parchment paper and kind of let them set. So that's what we're gonna do. You can see drastically changed it's nighttime now orson's not even on me anymore because it's his bedtime he's upstairs getting ready to go to bed um but this took a lot longer to set than i thought so we're gonna put this in the microwave melt that and then we'll start rolling these out and we'll see how it goes so let's get to it okay so we have our melted chocolate here and uh, that's looking really nice and then we have our again our hardened room temperature chocolate with the heavy cream so you could probably use an ice cream scoop for this would be my guess, but it says just take it, you know, in your hands and, uh, you know, about an inch and a half. That's probably a little bit too big. It, it does say it's going to get messy, but it rolled into a little ball as best you can. And uh, we're going to put it on the parchment paper and we'll try to let that get hard. So this is definitely going to be messy. I can already tell. It doesn't really roll. I'm kind of curious that this is the way that they decide to do it, but... That works. It is what it is. So that's what we're doing. We're just reaching on in. And thank goodness Orson's diaper doesn't look like this. <laughs> but <laughs> you probably didn't want to know that. So anyways, I'm going to keep working on this. And I'm going to make quite a mess of myself. 
and then we will let these harden a little bit, probably stick it in the fridge for a little bit, and then uh, we'll go ahead and roll them into the melted chocolate there, and uh, they'll stiffen up. So anyways, I'm gonna keep up this messy work. Here I go. them they're probably a little bit big granted they're a little larger than an inch and a half I would say so I have um, 18 of them here and then I have another three over here so I have 21 it was supposed to make 24 uh, so not too bad I guess as far as what it was gonna yield but I'm gonna let these harden up so I'm gonna stick these in the refrigerator for just a little bit and then I'm gonna dip them in here. You don't want to have them in the refrigerator too long, the recipe says, because if you do, then uh, the condensation can ruin the chocolate. So we definitely don't want to have them in there for too long, but I'm gonna stick them in for probably about 10 minutes, let them harden up a little bit, and then we'll get them dipped into this melted chocolate and uh, probably stick them back in the refrigerator for just a few more minutes, just to make sure they kind of solidify a little bit. And then I'll probably just leave them out, cover them, leave them out, and uh, we can look at them tomorrow in the morning and do a taste test. And that, hopefully then, Orson will be awake and he can join us since it is, you know, baking with Orson. So we shall return. Mr. Orison, hey, Mr. Orison, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me time. Hey, buddy, you're doing some tell me, tell me, tell me time. Yeah, you are. You're doing it. You're really doing it. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Let's try it. You need to, you need to put this arm. Yeah, there we go. Relax that arm. He says my arms are like a T-Rex. That works. Yeah. All right, buddy. Here's our truffle. It's all done. What do you think? What's your review? How many cries do you give this truffle from the Harry Potter cookbook? Is that five out of five cries? Oh, you're just going to go on your back now. You give it five out of five cries? There's one. There's two. Three, 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 three cries. Go oh, for. Oh, buddy. Come One on. more. There it is. Five out of five cries, folks. The truffle that we made, Orson approved. Five out of five cries. <laughs> you can't eat this, but your mom. Oh, does it make you happy? Oh, it makes you sad. Here you go. Take a bite into that. It's very chocolatey. It's a lot of chocolate. You probably can eat more than one, but Annie's already had one. Let's look at the center of it. Go ahead, show us the middle of it. So it came out pretty nice, but it's not bad. It's just a lot of chocolate. It's very sweet. So Orson gives it five out of five cries. There you have it. That's going to wrap up Baking with Orson, episode one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Say bye, Orson. Bye. Oh, I'm right here, honey. I'm right here. It's okay. Mommy's got you.